eat less, move more. Classic doctor's advice that really oversimplifies weight loss. Now, the reality is that different foods affect hunger and hormones in different ways. And in that sense, not all calories are created equal. In this video, we're looking at four things you can do to lose weight without ever having to count calories. And the last one is by far the most overlooked. Cutting carbs can really help. Probably the best way to start losing weight without counting calories or portion control is to reduce your carbohydrate intake, especially if attempting to follow a low fat diet uh, hasn't worked for you in the past. Now it's not because carbs are uniquely fattening, they're not. It's because we have to replace those carbs with either fat or protein, and this keeps us more full, ultimately eating fewer calories. Now studies consistently show that people who eat less carbohydrates automatically start to eat fewer calories and can lose weight without any major effort. In one study, 53 overweight and obese women were randomized to a low carb group or a calorie restricted low fat group for six months. Women in the low carb group lost twice as much weight, 8.5 kilos or 18.7 pounds, while eating until fullness, compared to the low fat group, which lost 3.9 kilos or 8.6 pounds, which was calorie restricted. Now this is just one of many studies. Additionally, cutting carbs appears to be very beneficial for those with metabolic health problems uh, that are associated with weight gain, particularly type two diabetes. Long-term randomized controlled trials in those with type two diabetes have shown it clearly outperforms high carb diets after 52 weeks. Now it seems only a matter of time before government authorities and organizations recognize it as a legitimate alternative. For most, the best way to cut carbs is not by buying you know, low carb labeled snacks and things. It's actually by restricting or eliminating major carb sources in your diet like sugars, sweets, sodas, and uh, starchy foods like bread and pasta. Use smaller plates to trick your brain. The way that our brain controls eating behavior is so incredibly complicated, but an easy way to trick your brain into thinking it's eating more food is actually just to use a small plate. For example, which of the following plates looks more full to you? The one to the right, of course, uh, but actually both dishes contain exactly the same amount. You can see that the, the black circle there is the same size for both dishes. Now, psychologists have been studying this phenomenon and it really works for those who want to lose weight. Replace your carb-based breakfast with eggs and veggies. Losing weight can be as simple as changing one meal consistently. And for many people, that meal is breakfast. Two separate studies have shown that eating eggs in the morning in place of bagels can help you lose fat without even trying. And this kind of ties into the first point about uh, reducing starchy carb intake. In this study, 30 overweight or obese women ate either bagels or eggs for breakfast. Now the egg group ended up eating fewer calories at lunch the rest of the day and for the next 36 hours. So basically the eggs were so fulfilling that the women automatically ate fewer calories at subsequent meals. In another study, 152 overweight men and women were split into groups and one group ate eggs and the other ate bagels. Now both groups were on a weight loss diet. After eight weeks, egg group had lost significantly more weight than the bagel group. So 65% more weight loss, 61% greater reduction in BMI, 34% greater reduction in waist circumference, and 16% greater reduction in body fat percentage. Now the difference in weight loss was quite small, but it clearly shows that simple things like changing one meal can have a small effect that can accumulate over time, especially if you combine it with, with other changes like we're mentioning in this video. Now I know what you're thinking, I don't have time to make a healthy breakfast in the morning. The reality is that cooking eggs and veggies only takes 10 minutes max. So you need to set your alarm 10 minutes earlier. Which brings me actually to the next point, which I think is the most important and the most overlooked. Go to bed earlier. Sleep levels are incredibly important for the optimal function of your body and hormones. And yet we never really talk about it when it comes to weight loss. Inadequate sleep is one of the strongest risk factors for obesity. In this study, short sleep duration was found to raise obesity risk by 89% in children and 55% in adults, which is massive. Poor sleep can increase hunger and cravings and cause a biochemical tendency for, for weight gain by disrupting hunger hormones like ghrelin and leptin. Additionally, by going to sleep earlier, you effectively eliminate much of the snacking time 
that you have in the day, uh, after dinner being the prime time. And then of course, you'll also be able to wake up a little bit earlier and prepare a healthy breakfast and lunch if you are that way inclined to prepare meals ahead of time. Combining all these strategies is a great way to lose weight without counting calories or really obsessing about food. But remember that in the end, none of us can find time to make these changes. We have to make time. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. And more importantly, uh, make sure you click that red button below the video to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel uh, so you can catch all our new videos as they come out.